Remembering Past Lives, Part 2. The Dark Side, Implanted Memories, Walkings, and Extreme Gaslighting. Hello again, thank you for being here with me once more, I hope you are very well today. I am Marie. Hello, welcome to my channel. This information can be seen as science fiction, or as the viewer sees best, and I post it for entertainment purposes only. Still, I take my information very seriously, and for whoever has eyes to see. In the first video about this subject, I described what it is like to remember past lives and their impact on the individual. When many people remember who they were before and then form a collective, their society takes a more positive form and structure. Remembering past lives is something natural outside Earth, although it happens there too, although to a much lesser degree, being that not remembering is one of the key characteristics of the Matrix on Earth. Why people on that planet overwhelmingly do not remember may not be entirely clear because there are many factors at play, for example the moon does transmit low vibration frequencies which are potentiated, and are part of the generation of the Van Allen belts which envelop Earth. Those are the ones flat earthers claim to be their infamous dome covering Earth. Although the Van Allen belts do help keep the vibration of the planet low, they are not the only factor, as the mere consciousness awareness and personal vibration of any positive and awakened Earth inhabitant is more than enough to override and neutralize those low vibration frequencies, therefore no one is trapped there, no one is a victim of the belts and the spaceship moon helping to generate them. Another reason why people on Earth have a marked tendency not to remember past lives is because of a simple frequency disparity, where the memories stored in higher realms, in the higher astral where souls dwell in between lives, are not a match for the low frequency vibration level of everyday life on Earth, in a thick and pasty biological body, and in the material world. But above those reasons and over any other, it may come to simple in between life agreements of each soul, how it designed its next incarnation, and with which settings and parameters. As I explained in the previous video about this subject, Remembering past lives can be a blessing and it can be very useful for your life experience, or it can be a nightmare. Same way, not having any memory of past lives may also be a blessing, if what a soul wants is to start from zero again, and not carry the traumatic events and hurtful memories of its past life or lives, and all the guilt those may bring along. There is another combination where some people remember only parts of past lives in a more or less selective manner, this happens on earth and elsewhere as well, yet all that a soul has experienced before, will directly define and shape who he or she is currently. But then there is another factor here, and those of you who have been following me for some time will have in mind, and that is artificial immersion technology which translates the consciousness of a subject who is inside a special pod, into a compatible body host on Earth, who otherwise was an empty backdrop, NPC person. Thus creating a walk-in, where one soul and consciousness may leave the body, and a new one may come in to replace it, usually after a severe accident or traumatic event, although not necessarily so. Most walkings occur naturally as part of soul contracts in between lives, where one may only want to live until a certain age, and not beyond, thus leaving a perfectly useful biological body to another soul who wants to live in that same body from that point onwards. Perhaps not wanting to live the painful and lengthy growing up process, thus entering earth skipping childhood, puberty, and all that, which may be viewed as a waste of time by that entering soul. Yet, other walkings may also be the result of immersion technology, which was developed a long time ago, and it is used by countless extraterrestrial races, both good ones and regressive ones, both during Earth's past, all the way to the present day. 
And this is where the problems start because as it is technology, it can also be abused by those who control it. As I have explained so many times before and until extenuation, there aren't any completely good star races, as there aren't any completely bad ones either, although some have the clear tendency to be positive as others to be regressive. But it all boils down to each individual and its ethical frame, as is to be expected. As life outside Earth is nothing other than, more life, in all its complexities, there is much struggle and hardship on countless planets, as on Earth, yet we all agree that living on that planet is especially hard. This means that people are just people as extraterrestrials are nothing other than, more people, some may develop shady interests and may also have hidden agendas of which their peers may not be aware. This is where immersion technology may be abused for their convenience. Each person who is using immersion technology to enter Earth has his or her own settings, their individual parameters of how the machine is supposed to work, and even the level of memory each one of them may have. So many walkings who are living in a biological body on Earth may hold no past life memories at all and no remembrance of them actually living on another planet and being inside a technological pod that is giving them the experience of being a human on Earth. Although most people in a pod do conserve a clear affinity for extraterrestrial subjects and a deep down feeling or hunch that they are not human, this is even though their friends and families may insist that they are indeed, human, because they remember a past with them, and in the case of their parents, even their birth and childhood. This causes the walk in star seed to feel in a dichotomy, extremely discredited by their friends and families, and even gaslit by them, as on one side all the evidence points out that they are fully human, therefore delusional with their extraterrestrial interests, while deep down they feel and know what they are, and that is, not human. Then we have another much worse problem which my group here in orbit has recently encountered several times, and which we have needed to correct the damage done by other members of the group, especially those who were in contact with Earth before us, such as the problematic one who also was working in favor of Earth's evil cabal, and its expansionistic plans against Teijita and other civilizations. And the recurring problem is the abuse of immersion technology and of the people who are in it. This goes for people of all star races who use such technology to introduce their people into Earth as walkings, although in this case, I am referring to Teijitans, as I obviously have access to that information, Yet this is also occurring with other star races as well as I was recently informed. I cannot publicly disclose who they are exactly, or how many Tejetan citizens who are currently on Earth using immersion technology have been the victims of this, but I know there have been many. As many have gone to Earth with no memory of who they are or of past lives using immersion technology, some abusive members have opportunistically used their not remembering condition to guide them into believing whatever they want and what is convenient to their shady and complex agendas. The physical immersion pods, the hardware itself is very safe and it is also guarded permanently in a super secure building, at least for the Tejetan ones. Yet, the immersed people are accessed from the other side contacting them as the people they are while on Earth. This is where they may be told manipulative lies to make them comply with the hidden agenda of those non-human abusive elements, or can also be led down another path to prevent them from fulfilling their mission on Earth, or their life plan. Those abusive elements may belong to the same star race as the person in the immersion pod, although this is usually not the case, because the evil intervention of regressive technological races against the citizens of another is far more common. The regressive intervention is most usually done by contacting the victim directly and openly and becoming friends with it, while slowly talking and guiding their perception in the desired direction, 
In the same way lower astral and demonic forces set souls astray when they send their victim unwanted bad influence people into their lives. Those bad influence evil people, such as narcissists, may be a biological body which is inhabited by a lower astral entity and or demon, or may be another person with a hidden agenda, and who is also using immersion technology, to consciously and purposefully access their desired victim. I must also state that contacting a star seed, in immersion or naturally occurring, may cause unwanted, or bad effects, and this may be the case even when the non-human, extraterrestrial may have had all the best intentions, yet things may have not gone according to what was planned. This means that contacting people on Earth is a very delicate subject and must not be taken lightly, even more so, as intervention, even with the best of intentions, may interfere with the starseed's life plan, even though the starseed itself may argue that such intervention may precisely be its very life plan. This fact may interfere with Project Second Contact protocols and even with the future of such a program in itself. Moving on to extreme gaslighting of the immersed starseed, there have been several detected cases where it was contacted by members of extraterrestrial races, who first claim he or she is one of them, and then alter the identity perception of their victims, telling them unreal stories of who they were before going down to Earth. Even worse, there have been some incidents where the extraterrestrials with shady intentions gaslight their victims into believing that they did things or went to places which they did not, even during their present lifetime. To achieve this, they resort to using the fact that they are in immersion, or that they were told that they are, to justify the victim's inability to clearly remember things from before they entered the human biological body that they are using. Because all walkings inherit the memory of the previous soul who was using the same body, yet those memories may be shadier and unclear, as they are stored in the body's energetic field, where the walk-in may or may not have full access to the previous owner's full memory in the higher astral. To manipulate their victim, many extraterrestrials with shady intentions have also used altered, and or photoshopped photographs of the victim, as proof that they were someplace they were never at, or did things that they never did, this is also what I mean with extreme gaslighting. Thus causing their victim to believe they had a different past, which is at the convenience of the manipulative non-human. This use of altered photographs has also been used, not only by evil regressive forces, but also by shady Galactic Federation members who wish to discredit and shame all kinds of people, to persuade them off their current activities and life plan, as it goes against theirs. The use of photoshopped images and altered false photographs by regressive non-humans, peaked a decade ago when Photoshop was not as widely used as it is now, and can be divided into two categories, and in two extremes. The first one is the use of regular badly done Photoshop, where the resulting image may even be obviously and ridiculously false, and the second most common one is the use of super high Photoshop-like technology, which provides high resolution, perfect photographs of whatever is intended to portray. Those may be extremely good, so good that even an expert in photography would not be able to detect them, as they are not altered originals, they were entirely generated by supercomputers, at a level which is unknown to the human population, so beware of that. Falling for all this manipulation depends on each victim, and on the circumstances surrounding it, and not all of them may fall for this extreme form of gaslighting, because it depends on the strength of character of each individual, as is to be expected. Yet many do fall for this, as they are slowly and progressively guided down that road, especially those who have low self-esteem, and therefore cannot see why any organization, star race or galactic federation would bother to spend so much effort and resources to make them stray off their life plan. 
Things on Earth are never as you are led to believe, therefore even the most depressed star seed feeling useless and worthless may be so extremely important for the greater picture, that great forces may assign a lot of energy and resources to guide or misguide that apparently worthless individual. Those who do fall for this gaslighting usually had several narcissistic abuse incidents in their past, perhaps even growing up in an abusive family where they were constantly bullied, which is something very common among starseeds, and which conditioned them into believing other people before themselves, especially if those others are in some kind of position of superiority. In other simpler words, those manipulative non-humans look for vulnerable victims who can serve their cause. Then we have yet another abusive tool used against people who do not have clear past life memories, or remembrance of who they are, or were, as extraterrestrial people. The constant and each time more common use of implanting false memories into their victims. This is done using invasive, non-human, synthetic telepathy technology, which the evil cabal on earth already possesses, by altering the immersion pod itself, if they have direct access to it, or by intercepting the pod's signal and altering it before it reaches the starseed in immersion. This is like creating a soul signal VPN, to intercept and modify the signal at the convenience of the regressive forces. I am saying all this for you to be aware of what extraterrestrial agendas are out there, and what many unethical star races may be able to achieve. These kinds of not moral practices are mostly performed on Earth by regressive and manipulative reptilian and Orion Grey races and species, yet no star race is exempt from having used one or another manipulation strategy described above. As I said before, it all boils down to the personal ethical frame of each individual and culture. Nothing on earth is what it seems, even reality and the past itself are highly questionable, both your individual past, and the past of the entire civilization on earth. This is why it is so important to develop a strong personal frame, and be responsible enough to decide what is real and what is not for yourself, with the best data available to you at any given time, while conserving the willingness and the flexibility to drop old belief systems for better new ones as you grow during your spiritual path. This topic will continue as there is a lot more to be said. This will be all for today. As always, thank you for watching my video, and for liking, sharing, and subscribing for more. It helps this channel grow a lot. And I hope to see you here next time. With much love, your friend. Marie Swarth.